All right, this is one of my favorites because a lot of people use Photoshop to retouch old family photos, whether they're rips and scratches, which I'll show you in the next chapter. Chapter nine is all about physical damage photo retouching. This chapter, chapter eight, was more about color retouching. And I'm going to go to file and open. I have this old elementary school photo, a friend of mine. And that color just looks awful. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is clean up the edges. So I'm going to click once on my crop tool, click once in the image. Now I get my rule of thirds, my grid overlay. And I'll just pull this over so we kind of center her in the space, pull the bottom edge up a little bit, pull the top edge down just to cut away any little slivers of white space around the edges of our photo here. And I'm going to hit return. There we go. Nice and centered. Okay, before I do any color editing, command J. And I have to evaluate what I'm looking at before I just jump in and start tackling things. So if you look closely, this image has a dull reddish cast across it but it's an indoor image and it's a typical portrait studio shot which means they typically use a neutral gray background so this image kind of reminds me of the computer image it's an indoor shot in the computer image there was too much yellow in this image there is too much red doesn't matter I can go to image menu, auto color. That neutralizes that red color cast. If anything, it took out a little bit too much red. The photo looks kind of dull. So I'm gonna overcompensate for that by going to image menu, adjustments, hue and saturation, and just knock the saturation back up a little bit more. So get a little more vibrant color back into the image right there. That looks good. But with older photos, they tended to be printed on this cheaper kind of Kodak, almost like a canvas type of paper. So if I zoom in, we got this ugly canvas surface all over the photo. And what that canvas surface is, is ups and downs and ridges. And when you have that rougher surface, flakes tend to show up on your photos as little pigments are chipped away. So it looks like she has really bad dandruff all over her shoulder and she's got this scratchy texture all over her face. I wanna get rid of that, but I really wanna get rid of this. Okay, that just looks dirty and gross. So a great way to counteract little tiny little spots, almost like dust on your photo, is literally a dust filter. Filter menu noise, dust, and scratches. Look at that. 99% of it is already gone. And I didn't even touch anything. Okay, I'm going to leave it on the lowest setting. Just a low radius of one pixel. No threshold. This is a very subtle blur effect. And I click OK. Okay, here's before. And there's after. Her skin looks a lot smoother. The wall looks a lot cleaner. Her shoulder looks a lot cleaner. The only thing that the dust and scratches filter will not get rid of is large areas of damage, like this big pronounceable scratch. Or this little spot right here. It was just too big for the dust and scratches. So I'm going to go to my clone stamp. Okay, control and option. I want a small brush for details, a soft brush for photo retouching. And all I gotta do is option click over here, let go of the mouse and the option key, put it over the damage and paint a little bit. Okay, again, you gotta watch this plus, so watch up here. Option click above. Now I come down and paint, and you can see that little plus is following my cursor. So if I don't pay attention and the plus hits the red in the sweater, it's going to repaint that red down below like that and ruin it. Okay, so edit, 
undo. When you're doing photo retouching, do a little bit at a time. Option click, paint a little bit and stop. Then just back up and do it again. Option click, paint a little bit more and stop. Option click, paint a little bit more and stop. Option click, paint a little bit more. Option click the gray and paint more gray right over that part of the scratch. Option click and take out that little spot. Here's a little bit of a scratch right in the photo. So I'm going to option click to the left, then move to the right and paint out that little scratch. And there we go. Problem solved. Okay, if there's any other little spots of damage, real tiny spots, I can go to the fourth tool down on the right, spot healing brush, make this a little smaller, just spot out those little bright spots right here. I'll come over here and there's a little piece of lint on the wall right there. Okay, real simple cleanups. And there we go. I've got a nice elementary school photo, not this garbage that looks like it's been sitting in a bad drawer for 40 years. Got an image right there. It's cleaned up. The colors look vibrant again. We've got our neutral gray backdrop. This is a great cleanup for a better presentation. Look forward to see what you can do with this photo. So again, when you're done, just call it Jennifer. Last name, first name, Jennifer, save it, show me what you did so we can move on and learn even more about this awesome program here in Photoshop.